Hey guys, welcome to e-learning on advanced encryption standard algorithm. In this project, we will discuss about AES algorithm, its implementation in order to raise the security level as well as the secure communication. AES state is relatively unpredictable, thus it is strong fast method of encrypting data. Generally, security attacks against network are increasing significantly with time. To ensure this, the communication media should also be secure and confidential. For this purpose, one can transmit the message secretly so that it should be saved from hackers. The sender ensures that the message arrives to the desired destination and the receiver ensures that the received message is its original form at the sender end. So this security is ensured only with cryptography. It is a technique used to avoid unauthorized access of data. For example, data can be encrypted using a cryptographic algorithm in conjunction with the key management system. It will be transmitted in an encrypted state and later decrypted by the intended parties. The security of modern crypto system is not based on the secrecy of the algorithm but on the secrecy of the relatively small amount of information called a secret key. Most of the current application like security of ATM cards, computer passwords, electronic commercial almost all depend on cryptography. This AES can be configured with different key lengths. Generally whenever we send an information, information nothing but data which we simply called as a plain text. The process of that converting a plain text into a ciphered text, an undecoded text we called as encryption and the receiver side that ciphered text is back converted into a plain text and we call that as a decryption. Simply speaking, study of encryption we called as cryptography and a study of decryption we called as cryptanalysis. A combination of cryptography and cryptanalysis we called as cryptology. If I am talking with respect to encryption, encryption can be broadly classified into two streams. One is with respect to stream cipher, one is with respect to block cipher. If the process is happening bit by bit for a short duration of length, then we go for a stream cipher. But the process is happening block by block, where within the block consists of a group of bits, then we go for a block cipher, which is used for the longer distance communication. This encryption can also be done with respect to two mechanisms. One is with respect to symmetric encryption and another is with respect to asymmetric encryption. If the same key is generated for both the encryption process and the decryption process, then we call it as a symmetric encryption. Unlike symmetric, in asymmetric encryption, we got two independent keys. One we call it as a public key and one we call it as a private key. Every user will have a pair of keys. One key for the encrypting purpose and another for key for the decryption process. So obviously, in order to decrypt, we must have a pair of two keys when we could talk with respect to asymmetric encryption. Here you can see a basic block diagram of a encryption process where the input signal nothing but a plain text being converted to cipher text with the process of encryption. That cipher text being then transmitted with a secured channel, it could be anything. It is then again going to get decrypted with the help of a decryption process where the cipher text is back converted into a plain text. During this process in the secured channel, even if the third party when it enters, in order to hack the data or get the information which is not unauthorized but still he will be getting a cipher text which cannot be decoded unless it is going to get decrypted. 